Alright YouTube viewers, today we're going to review the new PlayStation 3 game, Warhawk. Now, we, uh, we've been very hyped about this game for quite a while now. Yeah, because this game, it came out, it's been generating positive hype because it's a multiplayer online game which doesn't require any money, has dedicated servers, and even it has no lag, nothing, and it's supposed to be something like uh, Sony's response to Halo 3 online. It's fantastic. Plus, if you buy a retail version, you get the headset for free, which is a nice extra thrown in. And it's not a gimmicky headset, it's a very good headset. It's very good, not on cheap, Am wide, On Amazon, cheap. it's about $50 American. Yeah, sort of. plus you get the box. If, if you're a collector, then we advise you get that one. Yes, if, if you want to buy, if you want to talk online, you have to get that as yeah, well. Yeah, that's it. So insult some people with this. Alright, let's start. Okay, now we're in the loading screens. Loading screens are really fast when you pick a match. Yeah, and it's su it's surprisingly fast. You might think this is pretty slow, but surprisingly fast because seeing as the map is so huge. I know, because people have had bad experience with Gears of War. They go, oh, it's going to take ages to load me. No, it doesn't. And one of the best things about this game is drop-in, drop-out capability. Uh -huh. As you just saw, a second screen just came up and my partner GDUVCSPSB just yes. joined the game. Doctor's on the left, I'm on the right. And no, and there was no menus involved in drop-in, drop-out capability. So let's start some Very playing. Clean. Now the graphics don't look jaw-dropping as such. But the thing is, they're very clean. Huge, expansive world. There's expansive world, and most of it's. Um, hop in, hop in. Most of it's very, very, very um, destructible. So you can, like, bomb buildings and stuff. But another good thing about this game is that th there's no frame rate glitches. Like, you see again, like, Gears of War, it has frame rate glitches sometimes. The action freezes up and freezes up for a lot while. But this game, no none frame rate glitches. None, none of that shit here. This is There's very water, cool. clouds, volumetric clouds, like 16 warhawks in the in the air. Not a single war, not a single frame rate glitch. It's incredible how they pull it off. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Here are the servers. As you can see, they're very well done. And it shows it very clearly. These blue ones that I'm selected on right now. The official Sony ones, and you might have heard something about how Sony stacked up about 400,000 yep. PS3s together. Yes. Not that number, but 400 of that. Yeah, and they just stacked them up, and that's the Sony servers. But these white ones that I have selected right now, they're not Sony servers. They're actual servers that you can make yourself. Because your PS3 is capable yes. of that type of so you can. Carpet. So the server capability is, if you want to play on your own server and play with others on your own server, 24 player game, but if you want to just use your PS3 as a server, you can't play on your PS3, but other people can as a server, then it's 32 players. So we thought we'd drop into a split screen match again. Alright, uh, so we're in the mode of gameplay called Capture the Flag. Yeah, Capture the Flag is my favorite personally. And, and GDA BTSPSP currently has... The Flag. The Flag. Fuck you! And I am in a thing called a missile fuck turret. Fuck you! It's very effective against airplanes. What the fucking flag? Fuck you! Come get the fucking flag, huh? And it and homes in airplanes very well. Fuck you, flag! There's a thing right in front of me. Look at it. I'm shooting it. Fuck! My flag. I hopped into a plane and so and there's this thing in front of me and it just keeps hitting and hitting and that. And fuck! Fuck off! It's my flag. I found it. Fuck you, you cheap cunt. Get your... Ah, oh, yes. See? Blew someone up. Oh. See, the, the oh, fuck! What happened? The explosion in this game are really good. But it pisses I me off. I lost the flag! Fuck! Now, you're respawning. It's really fast. See, it, it takes a matter of seconds. Yes! I just killed an airplane! Did you see that? They did. Now, as you can see, a matter of seconds and you're in the game automatically. Okay, I have the flag once again, and it's really fun because it feels like they're coming. They're coming to get you. That's basically the feeling. Yes, and if you just saw, I just blew up a plane, which is trying to punk us, attack me. I'm gonna get another one. Yeah. Take that! Yeah! Fuck! Yeah. Now, as you can see, I'm on the right. I have the flag. I'm trying to go somewhere. I don't know where. I'm just. If you to... press select, you can get up a mini map, and it shows you it's your really line of useful. vision. Okay, so basically I have to take this back to our base. So let's do that. And whoever this guy who has the red flag... Ah! Oh, fuck! 
Fuck your Twinkie Factory! Oh, the Twinkie Factory. Fuck you all! Oh, fuck no. Fuck you. See, I did so much good work during the earlier part of this match by capturing zones, which basically means you can respawn from there again. And these fags, they don't know how to maintain any point, so we're dying now. Oh, fuck! Fuck! I don't know what happened there. And you'd think this game's about teamwork, but no one works as a team! Everyone just keeps team killing! What a dumb fuck! That guy drove into a wall. Oh, terrible. Not the game, just this. No, the guy you were with, he kept driving into a wall, what a dumb cunt. And there's a flat cannon there and he just drives into that! Oh, stupid people. I love this game, but some of the people in here don't. They're idiots. It's I not find the... it hard to believe that they could even afford it. It's not the game. game, it's the. I know, they're so dumb. I don't. Oh, God. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. See, people with tanks driving like maniacs. I know. Feels this... like you're in a real war zone. If it was populated by dumb hicks and retards. True, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, God. See, you can hear them talking. Uh huh. Go, all right, so it's our final comments now. This game is incredible by all means. Yeah, we. Lo I love this game. I got it yesterday, and I can't get off it. Like, I've got an important exam in three weeks, and I haven't been studying for it, all because of this game. So it's addictive, like some sort of drug. Yes, it's better than drugs. Uh, I know this is the next heroin. This game, I can't. Fi it's so addictive. And the. Ex you just, you get such a f sense of feeling that you're in such a big warfare. There's none of that slow shit that you go and count. No you, lag, which is just smooth as yeah, hell. Yeah, it's smooth as hell. Like, they, I haven't seen anyone lag. Resistance lags, Gears of War lags. Any get every game lags, apart from some PC. Because they don't have dedicated servers. But this game has dedicated servers, so maybe this is a wake up call to Xbox Live because they don't have Xbox uh, dedicated servers. And it's yeah, free, so you don't have to keep paying fucking yeah. what hundred dollars a year. Yeah, like Xbox Live, you have to pay sixty dollars a year, well, sixty dollars a year American, and you don't get dedicated servers. You have to host them yourself and everything. But in PlayStation Network, you, it's free, but you get dedicated servers with no lag. Go figure. I know, and uh, this—it's just every mode is fun. Do, do you see any weak modes in it, or are they all? There's no weak modes. You just have. There's only four modes, and they're all well balanced. The thing everyone's been um, saying about this game is. How balanced it is, even though it's 32 players. The learning curve, you'll pick it up within a few, an yeah. hour or so. Yeah, the learning curve is quite a lot for beginners, but you'll pick it up. Like, the controls don't seem that hard, but it gets hard and... You can adjust it depending on how you feel. Yeah, it. it's not it's not that hard, like, oh, oh i never get to this, not like Ninja Gaiden or something. But you'll get used to it very easily. So I'm going to give this a 9.4. Because mm -hmm. I don't care if there's no um, campaign mode. Because this campaign, no campaign mode is easily made up by the ex addicted uh, gameplay. Plus, button. they would have been criticized for a campaign. Yeah, mode. so it would have gotten a lower score in, co in comparison. I give it a 9.2 just because of the learning curve. But you should, will pick it up easily. I picked it up in the first hour or so. It depends, on, it depends how, how much you play. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. So and incredible. It's, it's so addictive we can't talk right now. I know we're so we just get tranced into this game. It's it's beyond me. I mean and I've never met I mean I'm I'm not a fan of online game. I don't go in these little nerd chat rooms and shit. I'm not into that. But this This is incredible. And uh customization, there's quite a lot we haven't shown you, but you can customize basically every part of your body. So if you have if you have PSC and you play online quite a lot, You have to get this. You, if you don't get this you you're like um uh, you must be mentally retarded. Because um, if you don't like online games, well, shame on you. Because this game is incredible. Th this is probably the next gen Battlefield, except it's for PlayStation. And you can just drop in, drop out capability, and I'll give it 9.4. I stay like that. Yeah, mine's on 9.2. Incredible game. Incredible game. Anywho, Warhawk sounds like Firehawk, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yes.